Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? This is your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I rant and I review. I want to throw this out here to everybody out there that feel that people giving them heads up on what's on clearance and sale at certain locations and who has what is really hurting the community. That's not hurting the community. It's helping the community. It's helping people who are collectors and resellers to find certain things but you know what it's also helping collectors find stuff you know what you can't have one without the other and i'm just serious you can't have one without the other they all work together you know what being a reseller and being a collector shit some collectors are resellers so i know that happens a lot in video games gym shoes funko pops shit it happens a lot in action figures too so my thing is, you know, as this situation progresses, man, you never look a gift horse in the mouth, man, where if you are able to find stuff, you know, and when people post stuff about what they found at Ali, stop calling it crap. Maybe because you got it already or you don't like it or, you know, you got it. You know, other people may actually like it. You know, like some of the stuff people show at Ali's, man, I'd be like, damn, you know, I would love the troop bill Sergeant Slaughter. I would love to troop build half of the stuff that I see people with. Some of those G.I. Joe, uh, Snake Eyes, the movie figures, I would love to troop build those at a reasonable price. And if you're giving me a reasonable price, I'd be cool with that, Feb. See, that's the thing. We too busy trying to actually tell people what the hell they should be doing. I shouldn't be telling you what you should be doing. Only you know what the hell you should be doing. At the end of the day, man, I'm working on what I'm working on. I'm enjoying what I'm working on. I'm enjoying this hobby. I'm enjoying buying stuff, man. I'm also enjoying paying down on some of these damn credit cards, man. Life is hard sometimes, and sometimes life is good. You know, as I go, you know, I start understanding, you know, how differences are, you know, how different we all are, man. You know, we all play like we all the same. None of us the same, man. We all enjoy different things, man. And, you know, we all can, like, you know, do things and be okay with it, man. That's just not who I am, man. You know, I like what I like. You know, I like a certain um, setup. I like certain things, man. You know, I like to go certain places. I like to enjoy certain things. You know, like I said, you know, toys are fun, but you know what? You know, people tell me that I could be, you know, I, you know, like this item was up all day. What was I doing? Was it work? Oh, but you, you know, you lying about a job. I'm not lying about a job. I work a nine to damn five job. I don't get it. People make it seem like you be out here lying about working. Dude, I work every damn day, Monday through Friday. Then I do YouTube. But see, that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. I know how to manage my damn time. You know, people be out here doing too damn much. And they don't understand when you're doing too damn much, people get tired of you. You know, they ask, why do this channel grow? Because people can relate to the shit that you're saying. They can feel it. They can understand it. We don't just talk about toys or video games or action figures or, you know, die cast or, you know, shoes. We talk real life shit, problems and every damn thing else. Relationships. See, this is what people don't understand. You can go anywhere, but, you know, after a while, you get tired of hearing it because... You know, you can't relate. You need to go somewhere where you can relate to the damn person. You can understand the person because sometimes you can see yourself in that damn person. You get what I mean? It's not always about how you go about stuff. It's about who can relate to the shit that's coming out your mouth. It's like, yeah, man, I, I hear him right now, man. You're though talking about, you know, damn, you know, my, my disposable income got cut and, you know, shit is happening. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to pay some of this shit. Now, you know, what I was telling you about the target clearance, when some of the shit went down to like 649 and, you know, 649 or 650 and, you know, you sitting here thinking to yourself, that's $13 for two, that's $26 for four. So I get four figures for the price of one. Yes, it was a proper opportunity to actually go and max out some shit. Because you know what? You're not going to see that too many other times, man. You know, I wait sometimes on clearance, but you know what? I know sometimes that clearance is not happening and you will not get this shit for the prices that you're looking for. 
You know, a lot of us want shit on pennies of the dollar. You know, you want to pay 50 cents for the damn item. See, this is what social media did to us, man. It makes us feel that we are entitled to shit, that we should be able to get shit for 20 cents. No, we shouldn't. No, we fucking shouldn't. We should be able to pay for the shit. I shouldn't pay 20 cents for some shit. No. Dude, come on. I'm just saying. I'm just really saying. I'm just don't get so caught up in trying to find a good deal. Sometimes when you see the item that you're looking for, and if it's the regular damn price of $24.99, you know in your head, I will not see this shit again. I checked eBay, this damn thing going for $75. I checked this store, it's going for $85. I checked this store, you know, online, it costs $95. So you looking at it, I see it for $24.99. I'm going to scoop it up. You know, that's not you being impulsive. That's you knowing the value of the item. And you know you cannot find it again for that reasonable price. Hey, maybe after you done picked it up six months later, go on clearance and you find it everywhere, that's different. But when you was looking in the beginning, you could not find it. See, that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. You know, certain figures, you know, like those his tanks at Ollie's. I seen those at Walmart. I seen them when they were there. They had overstocks of this shit. Any Walmart I went into, they were stacked to the ceiling on top shelves. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, no, it wasn't like, you know, they didn't have the stuff displayed. It was out. But people weren't buying at those prices. Yeah, when you drop the price, people will pick up. You know, if it was $24.99 or $30 and that Ollie's, it might be $12.49. Think about it. You could buy two at that price. You can troop build the damn things if you want. So you sitting there thinking, $24 to get me two, uh, $50 to get me four. So you thinking about if I spent $100, I get eight. So you sitting here thinking to yourself, you coming out ahead. Now I'm looking, you know, at a lot of people talk to me about the HasLab situations, like the Galactuses and stuff like that. What happened with Galactus? I see Galactus all the time and get offered deals on eBay because I watch it and, you know, come with all tears. But you know what? I don't want to spend $350 on that. I don't want to spend shit that I could just actually see as car notes on shit, man. You know what? Even though car notes, car notes, car notes are way more expensive than that, I just don't want to drop that kind of money on that particular item, man. You know, it's nothing wrong with doing what you do, man. Enjoy your hobby. Enjoy what you're doing. But make sure you understand at the end of the day, all of this is about how you feel about it. That's what collecting is. It's your tie with the item. Nostalgia, man. You know, the nostalgia factor with the Funko Pops is crazy. The nostalgia factor with Street Fighter. I remember I used to play these games, you know, when I was off. You know, when I was in high school, when I was off on certain days, when I wasn't working my job. Man, I would play Street Fighter all day long on Super Nintendo with my friends. So, I know. Mortal Kombat. We played Mortal Kombat. They used to whoop my ass in Mortal Kombat. We used to watch wrestling, and that's what you got the wrestling back there. We watched T-Man. You know, we watched the Super Friends. This is where the DC multiverse come in. You know, so everything is a tie-in with your past. We watched the Silverhawks and the Thundercats. We watched the Turtles. We watched G.I. Joe. We watched the Zoids, Voltron. Shit, you see what I mean? It all comes full circle. The X-Men, we watched this stuff, the Avengers all this stuff come full circle. And this is where we at again. We're deciding on what to do. But you know what? There are, new no, there are no new toy lines really coming out. You know, you got uh, Turtles of Grayskull, man. But think about it. Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, uh, Ninja Turtles, Street Fighter, Ninja Turtles, uh, Stranger Things, Ninja Turtles, uh, Cobra Kai, Ninja Turtles. It was just so much of fucking Ninja Turtles. And it still is. There's a lot going on right now. Ninja Turtles are like Power Rangers. They done basically went with every damn body. So you sitting here thinking, man, this is why I said those big ass pieces like 
cat's lair and a thunder tank and like i said now you can see the thunder tank for under 400 dollars. yeah people are feeling some kind of way considering they spent 500 dollars plus the shipping and all of that too and tax come on now you get that damn thing almost in certain places at 350 when that um what was that? The 10th and 11th was going on on Amazon, on those Amazon deal days. Dude, people had shit for so cheap, it was crazy. But what the hell am I going to do with a Thunder Tank? It'll take up the whole shelf. See, this is what I'm talking about. When you're dealing with selective space, you're trying to make sure you have enough room for everything that you do. I collect movies. I collect comic books. You know, I collect video game consoles, systems, and games and shit i collect small electronics um cologne watches uh dude anything that you could think of i got some of every damn thing cameras and shit i got all kind of shit around here but see that's the thing small gadgets small electronics big electronics dude this is the thing that i'm talking about the shoes <laughs> some shoes i can't even get to without taking shit down but see, that's the thing, though. That's the joy of this hobby. That's the enjoyment of having some sort of tie with the things that you buy. You may not wear it today, but if you wear it tomorrow, it still make you feel the same damn way. You get what I'm saying? You know, putting up the toys today, I don't got all the G.I. Joes up there. I only got a few because some of them keep falling. So I take some down and... You know, I know y'all talking about the foam board in the back, you know, and I was thinking about that, man. But, you know, shit, everything comes with, you know, a catch 22, man. So I'm trying to work on stuff and I'm still thinking about it, fam. But I just want to say thank you again for watching, man. To later. Peace out, fam. And keep doing you and keep being you. And I appreciate you for coming to this channel and viewing and being positive. To later. Peace out.